Hey guys, so in today's video I'm gonna be doing a full face of first impressions uh, makeup kind of tutorial. I did a video like that I think that a month ago and now, ow, ow, I hit my elbow and now I'm here for round number two. So I ordered some products myself because I really wanted to try them. I can't wait to put them on my face and also some brands sent me their products. So I'm going to be painting myself today with things that I've never used before. And this kind of makes me nervous and excited at the same time. Nervous because I don't know how the products will look on my face, but uh, excited because I'm going to be playing with new things. Today is one of those days that one messy bun is just not enough. So. I did too. <laughs> my hair is so messy today, but for some reason I love it. It looks like I didn't, you know, I didn't try too much. Although, um, honestly, I spent like 20 minutes trying to, to do this hairstyle on my head. But anyway, <laughs> so I have this hydrating foundation primer here by Shiny Cosmetics. Looks like that. It looks like some kind of a thick gel. Oh. It made my skin feel very... Um, ready for foundation. I don't know. It feels very smooth. It almost gave it a different texture and it did a good job blurring my pores. Okay. Okay. Moving on to the foundation. Now, this is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I have it in the shade Light Beige. I'm feeling kind of like in an Instagram tutorial and I think that this is too much. Oh no. I'm using my Real Techniques um, makeup sponge to blend it out. The coverage, I'm really happy with it. Okay, so I'm wearing that foundation for like two minutes and I don't want to be like, oh, I have this thing on my face for like two minutes now. I absolutely love it. Foundation doesn't work like that. But so far, I like the coverage. Lovely full coverage. I had some um, blemishes and redness right here. You can barely see them now and um, and it has like a beautiful matte finish. So I want to see how it will look throughout the day so that I can tell you if I really like it or no because it's foundation. Things can get really weird and messy throughout the day. You never know, you know. You never know, you know. <laughs> okay, so moving on to my under eye area. I've been waiting to use this product for like I know, it's been so long. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I have it in the shade Light and this is the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I've been seeing these two guys here in my dreams. Like I've been literally dreaming of using them. I'm sure that you guys have heard of them. They're pretty popular here on YouTube. So um, this is basically YouTube made me buy these. But the reason that I am really excited about using them is because I was never able to find them in any store here in Bulgaria or Greece just because they're not they're not selling them here, so I had to order them online. And when I was finding them online, they were like, oh, we're so sorry, but we don't ship um, these products to your country. And I was like, yeah. but I finally found them and I got them. I paid a crazy amount for shipping, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm not guilty of not feeling guilty. And um, oh yeah, a little goes a very long way. Didn't know that. I'm gonna let that concealer to kind of dry on my skin before setting it. Now let's move on to the eyebrows. I'm gonna use the Arch Expert, um, this is a brow mascara, I think, in the shade Brunette by the brand Do 10. The wand looks like that, really tiny. It kind of looks broken, but this is how it's supposed to be. You guys, my eye area have never been so bright. I, I, I'm not used to seeing myself like that. <laughs> this is a really pigmented brow gel. It did a really good job filling in my brows. But I want to kind of fix the shape of my brows. This is a essential brow kit by Motifs. I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to use the brush that it comes with. I usually don't do that. But I think that this one is really nice and thin. Now also use some concealer to clean them up. I feel like my eyebrows came out a little bit darker today and my under eye area a little bit too bright. You guys, I never have a problem with too bright under eye area because I'm really pale like a paper and I hardly find any concealers that brighten up my, my eye area. In fact, I've never been that brighted before. <laughs> so um, anyway, 
Anyway, let's go ahead and set that concealer with the Laura Mercier powder. I never thought that I would say that, but here I am. I have really high expectations for these products just because so many people say really good things about them. People say that they can't even live without these products and I'm like, this sounds like something that I want to try out. I hope that they work for me, you know. That powder kind of toned down the concealer, it's not that bright anymore. And with powder and concealer, it's the same thing like foundation. I can't tell you if I like them or no right away. You know, I need to I need to use them a couple of days. So far as a first 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 impression of the concealer and the powder, I like them. They look good. Moving on to the eyeshadows, I'm gonna use the Meat Matte Adore. Um, eyeshadow palette by The Balm. I'm gonna play it safe today. I'm not gonna go with some crazy eyeshadow look because after filming this video, I have to go to the grocery shop. So I wanna look kinda neutral there. So the first eyeshadow that I'm gonna start off will be this one right here. It's called Matte Bernard. Bernard. And adding that in my crease. This shade looks like my morning coffee. I like it. I'm not sure what look I'm going for. I'm just gonna, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do, to be honest with you. That's really dangerous because I can end up with something um, very dramatic. Do you see this little guy here? Look at it good because you won't be able to see it in a while. Oh, I really want to use that color all over my eyelid. So I'm taking it with the same brush and I'm dusting that all over my entire eyelid. The color on the eyelid blended beautifully with the, with the crease color. Do you guys want to see more tutorials with this palette here? I think that it has some really beautiful colors in it. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on. I'm gonna take a mixture of these two colors here. These are the same that I have on my upper lid. I'm gonna bring them along my lower lashes. I'm just gonna smudge them there. And these eyeshadows are so easy to blend out. You guys, I forgot this little guy here. I went to the drugstore a couple of weeks ago and I saw this Essence liquid eyebrow lifter and i was like eyebrow lifter what do you mean i didn't read what it was saying on the back the only thing that i saw was eyebrow lifter wake up effect and i was like i'm getting this but when i got back home i totally forgot about it so i think that today is a really good opportunity to try it out i really hope that i won't ruin my eyeshadow there is ton of product on on the applicator Let me blend it out a little bit. Okay, I have it on both of my eyes. Again, this is a shimmering highlighter with eye opening effect. Do you think that somehow my eyes look more open? How about now? <laughs> I think that this is just a marketing trick, uh, giving a product kind of like a weird name, you know, eyebrow lifter, wake up effect, eye opening effect. I don't think that this is something that I'll keep on using. However, it's cute, but definitely not something that um, I'm gonna include in my routine, in my makeup routine. I'm skipping the falsies today because we all know how the falsies look, but we don't know how this mascara will look. This is by Nabla, and honestly, you guys, I'm kind of scared to try it out because the wand looks like that. It looks like some kind of a drill, uh, <laughs> which is scaring me. Okay, let's do this. First, I'm gonna curl my lashes. The tip of that wand is really convenient for this inner corner when you can really get in there. Oh wow, it made my, my lashes look long! I find myself working mainly with the tip just because it's the thinnest part. I'm gonna be honest, I'm surprised. Maybe I'm gonna always add just a tiny little bit on the bottom. 
I don't usually do that, but I got excited with the wand. I like that mascara, you guys. I was terrified by the wand. Let's be real, this is not something that I'm used to putting so close to my eyes. It did make my eyebrows look longer, not, not, not eyebrows, eyelashes. It made my lashes look longer. I mean, that's the purpose of mascara, you know? So it did its job pretty good, so I like it. I don't know if it's gonna smudge throughout the day, but... I like how my lashes look now. <laughs> I'm gonna give the eyes a little bit of a break now. I'm gonna move to the face. This is the Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. Ooh, I like that the cap is connected here. So, you know, I won't lose it. That's nice. I'm gonna contour with this shade right here. This is a contour palette by the brand Do 10. The same one that I use their brow gel for my eyebrows. I'm gonna also try out this color right here. Moving on, I'm gonna take some of this highlighter here. I dipped my fingers inside this before, so this is a Baked Highlighter and Bronzer by e.l.f. Let me see, I'm gonna take just the highlighter here. I'm gonna load it on my brush and apply that on my face. Let me just use some rose water on my brush. Maybe that will give me a little bit more intense glow. Oh, this is good. Hmm, not bad. This highlighter is so much better if you use a damp brush top light. This highlighter is pretty, however, it's not one of those highlighters that melt into your skin. This is more like a shimmery highlighter. It has some tiny little small shimmers in it, which you're able to see on your skin. Of course, you may need something to boost it, like rose water or just a regular tap water, whatever. Just something that will make your brush a little bit damp. I'm also gonna add that in the inner corners of my eyes. And also on my brow bone on top of that Essence Brow Lifter. You see that when I open up my eyes and when I look straight to you, there is a small tiny um, line of skin showing under my lashes. I'm gonna cover it up by tight lining my eyes with this Maybelline Colossal Extra Black Pencil. This is a really nice trick. I like it because it makes my lashes look a little bit fuller. So for the lipsticks, I tried some on the back of my hand and I think that the most suitable for this look is going to be this one here by the Balm. I used, I think that I used uh, the Balm lipsticks a really long time ago and I remember that they had really strong scent which I was really enjoying and it also, I remember that it had that tickling feeling the first few minutes after applying. I'm wondering if this one have the same formula. Oh yeah, there is the scent. It's a very strong minty scent this is not a scent that you'll usually get from a lipstick and here comes the very gentle um, burning feeling well that doesn't sound really good but it's really pleasant you know it's it's um no it's more like a cooling effect i don't know you you feel something on your lips but uh it's not something that hurts it's not something that feels well for some of you it may feel uncomfortable i don't know it feels somehow you know it's very it's very different um it feels like uh, pinching it feels like tickling it, it's kind of cooling and burning at the same time i don't know how to explain that but uh, together with the minty scent, I like it. I like it a lot. I also want to add some blush. I'll go with this one here again from that Do 10 palette. Just a tiny little bit, a touch of color on my cheeks. This is the Rimmel Hashtag Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. I've never used this before, but I saw it in the drugstore and I was like, Hashtag Insta Fix and Go Primer and Setting Spray. I'm trying that. It's very gentle. It's not like just throwing the product on my face. It's very like... All right, and this is the finished look, guys. If you wanna know how my comfort zone smoky eye looks, 
this is how i think that this look i can wear it on an everyday basis this is it's something that it's something so simple so soft and so wearable the only product today that i'm not really happy with how it came out is the concealer and it's not the concealer itself it's not the product itself it's the it's the shade i think that it's it's very light for me when i'm shopping for concealer or foundation I'm, I'm always getting the lightest shade available and most of the times it's pretty good match for me sometimes it's even a little bit dark but most of the times the lightest shade is pretty good for me this one really surprised me today like i wasn't expecting it to be that bright <laughs> but oh no i think that this look came out pretty good if you guys enjoyed watching this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also don't forget to click that bell button next to the subscribe button you can follow me on my instagram and facebook and twitter and also visit my blog all of the links will be down in the description box i want to thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye